Hello and welcome to this video on the VCV Random by Nano Modules. Let's check out what's to come. This video is sponsored by Nano Modules. Now the VCV Random is a Yororack hardware module based on the VCV Rack software, Random Generator and Manipulator. It's an interesting design with a couple of novel features and that's going to warrant some kind of wider feature explanation. So we'll do that with some audio patching and with some scope signals in a moment. But just to quickly run down the features, at its core, the VCV Random is a sample and hold generator with internal noise source. That's shaped in four different ways, with shape control, where we can have linear, exponential or smooth slewing and shaping of this random sample and hold, and also some stepped shaping, which is a unique feature that adds an increasing amount of steps between the values that it creates. It has an internal wide-ranging clock, or you can trigger this externally, Instead of sampling internal voltages, you can patch external voltages in. Both internal and external clocks are processed through a probability circuit that will give you random trigger outs and rather than repetitively trigger, won't always fire off the internal random voltage generation. And then we have this novel R&D RAND control that will crossfade with internal modulation between the output of the sample and hold resulting in no change because the input samples the output and continues to do so. And then all the way at the top, at the other end of the crossfader, it's always sampling the internal noise. Now anywhere in between, it's closer to a completely random value or the output that came out of it. And this results in a restriction of the potential step movement. It's a really musical way to manipulate a voltage without just attenuating it. We have CV over the rate, probability, rand and shape controls with CV attenuators, and you can normalize the linear out to these CV inputs with a switch on the back of the module. And there's an offset switch as well, so you can have these outputs be unipolar between 0 and 10 volts, or bipolar between minus five and plus five volts. So there's lots to go at here, so let's have a deeper look at these features so you can hear them and see them on the scope. And then we'll get into some musical examples and patches that reinforce these features and ideas. The timing index is on screen if you'd like to skip around. So without further ado, let's dive in. So let's take a slow and steady approach to the features of the VCV Random. The rate being our clock, the rate of triggering, probability serves as a probability that this will actually trigger with these clock pulses from not triggering at all, to all the time, and anything in between. So let's leave that up full for just steady clock-like behavior. Now on the linear out, the shape will add a linear slew. You can see that glides linearly, if that's even a word, and then holds its value to the point we can add so much slew. This looks like a triangle or linear style fluctuating random voltage. The exponential out works the same. Single step per pulse random change with shape adding exponential curving and shaping. It looks a bit like an ADSR envelope. And the smooth out, again, stepped with shape all the way down. A very sine wave like, with high levels of shaping. Now the step out works different in that it will always take an amount of steps to get to the next random value. So shape all the way down feels like it's moving twice as fast. If I slow the rate down here, one, uh, 
and two and three and four and. Now shape will then add more steps into this change. Too so many steps. You can't really hear the stepping, although you can see it. And you can just about hear that. Now going back to our just kind of classic one per pulse. We look at the random, which will crossfade between the value that's just sampled and sampling a new value itself. So we've random all the way down. This is just resampling its previous value and doesn't change. We've got all the way up full. It samples a new random value based on this internal noise. And anything in between will restrict the range of motion nothing if it just keeps recycling itself to crossfading a bit towards that noise and random and think of this as a restriction in the step movement how far it can move per step so it's very shapeable controllable random signal generation so as a means of emphasizing that the step output always has this additional step between the values here I'm using the linear out, orange cables, green trace, and the step out, purple cables, blue trace, as two different pitch sequences. Now these outputs go into some attenuation and some quantization that you can't see off screen, and they come back to control the volt proxy inputs on two oscillators, one panned hard left for the green trace and linear output, and one panned hard right for the step output and blue trace. And just listen how these step slightly differently, even though they're in time. If I up the shape to increase the steps on that step output, the right hand voice kind of dance around in its step changes. So here I'm making use of the trigger output and the random triggering based on the probability to fire off extra hi-hats. Now if I mute my other sounds, here we have, open in the mixer, the sound triggered by the VCV random trigger out. And it's the yellow trace here, the green trace is the clock in, it's the swung clock that I'm making this whole beat on. And this triggers a 909 hi-hat into some reverb. Now I have a steady 16th note hi-hat that's just been ducked and side-chained a little bit in my mixer. And the random output, the linear output, is being used to modulate its pan. So these triggered, it's the same trigger as the clock input that I'm using here, the green trace, just this swung 16th note, is triggering this hi-hat sound, an 808 hi-hat, constantly. The linear out, blue trace here, is panning it around, but those pans only happen when a random value fires, and when a random value fires, the trigger out, yellow trace, triggers the 909 hat. So playing with that probability is fun. You could be throwing LFOs and modulation in here. So here's a really simple technique and a really musical one to create accents in your patches. I'm mixing envelopes here, playing off of different rhythms, and it's one of my favourite techniques for modulation. If I change the patch, this is the bass level if you like, a pitch sequence to an oscillator with a saw wave into a low pass filter. And my main rhythm, this green trace here, playing an envelope into this quad VCA mixer. I'm going to mix some modulation in here. 
very simple oscillator filter subtractive patch. I'm taking my main trigger from this sequence into VCV random and using the probability to condition it, firing off another envelope, that's the blue trace and blue cables, and mixing that in before we modulate the filter. So I can use a probability for this not to happen, for it to quite frequently happen, or for it to play all of the triggers. So mixing these together, here's the kind of bass level main envelope if you like, and then blending in this accent envelope. I'm then using the smooth output, and that's the yellow trace yellow cables here, to modulate the effect sends in my mixer. The pink trace is zero volts, negative voltage underneath will push this sound into a reverb, and positive voltages above will push it into a delay. So random swings of effects, probability conditioning a trigger to add another envelope mixed into the other to modulate the filter for this dynamic musical accents. Now here we're looking at sampling external voltages. If we don't have an input, this is just sampling its internal noise for a kind of classic stepped random sample and hold. But by plugging in an external voltage, in this case a unipolar triangle LFO, we can sample that, and if the probability is regular, you get a pyramid version, stepped version, of this input LFO. Now the faster we trigger this, the more steps we'll get, and the trigger out here is going to trigger a new note being quantized in a quantizer, and the linear output, the one we're looking at, yellow cables, yellow trace, is what's being quantized. Because the rate of triggering and the frequency or rate of the triangle LFO aren't related at all, even with the basic up down of the triangle, we do get some variance in the pattern. Add a little bit of probability so this doesn't fire as regularly all the time. Without changing this input triangle at all, we've lots of variations on this little melody that it's creating. You of course don't have to use that for pitch, that could be a modulation source for anything in a patch, sample players, filters, folders, effects and so on. So on the back of the module there's a switch that will normalise the linear output to all of the CV inputs. So we can have randomised rate changes, randomised probabilities, random value changes, cross-fading between sampling the previous voltage or the new one, and randomised shape, all from that linear out, automatically routing to those controls. So as the VCV random module is a version of the VCV random module, I thought we'd try out the software. Here's the nano modules version, that's the reskinned version of the VCV random existing random module. And everything else here is just default VCV modules. This patch is available for free, that's down at the link in the description. You can pay what you'd want, and thank you if you do want to pay something and support, that's really appreciated. If you don't, that's totally fine too, grab it for free. I've put lots of notes in this patch so you can read those and play around in your own time. It's a very musical, melodic, free voice, generative Krell style patch. And there's a nice blend of free delays with some modulation, creating this primitive reverb, kind of chorus smeared echo trail as a nice ambient effect. Thank you.
Thank you for watching. Head over to patreon.com forward slash divkid to support the work that I do. Grab this file for free at the link below. Pay what you want if you'd like to. Hit like, subscribe, that's all really helpful. And thanks for watching. Bye.